Hi everyone, the Treefer here, and welcome to the new episode of Focus Friday. Today we'll be focusing on one of the fish in my tank, or actually a pair of them, so two fish, and these are the Blue Star Leopard Rats. The Blue Star Leopard Rats are, of course, a type of uh, Rats that you can um, keep in almost any reef tank. Uh, they are a very uh, bright colored fish, uh, which is, is very entertaining to watch. And um, oh, today I'm going to, uh, to show them to you and uh, tell you some, uh, some specifics about this fish, what you should be looking out for, their diet and um, you know, some other stuff. So let's get into it. So the first task is to find them, which is not very hard since they show themselves a lot. They are very active uh, fish in your aquarium, so you'll see them uh, swimming around a lot. They're actually behind here, so yeah, here's the male. So this blue fish right here, that's the blue star leopard wrasse, and this is the male. Then the female, let's see if we can spot her. Well, she's bound to show up soon. So here's the male again. As you can see the male is uh, blue and it has some greenish uh, colors in it as well. And as you can see they're quite camera shy, which I noticed before when I tried to take a picture of them. They would swim off to the back quite fast. So let's just sit down for a while and wait for them to show up. So like here's the female. So in the middle you can see the female floating around. This is, uh, she's a bit smaller than the male. And these fish have been in my tank for about two years now. I think the female for two and a half years and the male somewhat shorter because uh, my previous male uh, has uh, died about two and a half years ago. But then a fellow reefer um, had one that was in a tank where there was no sand, so it was not happy there, it was in quarantine. Um, so he wanted to get rid of it and I said well my male just died I'll uh, I'll gladly take it from you so that's when I got his uh, his male and he's been uh, well he's been together with the female for about two years now in this tank so the male is there on the top and I'll give you some nice shots of them uh, when they show up more at the front so one uh, thing to keep in mind when you're uh, when you're keeping uh, res is that some of them need uh, a layer of sand because they sleep in the sand so that's very important to to remember uh, always when you're buying a res please look up first if they're sleeping in the sand or if they're if they're not because if they are they will be very unhappy in a tank with uh, with a very low amount of sand or no sand at all so these blue star leopard res they definitely sleep in the sand so around 7 or 8 p.m. They will uh, go under, and they will uh, uh, well, they will sleep under the sand, and then they will wake up in the morning around eight, and then they'll come out of it and uh, will swim in the tank until it's evening again. So that's something to to uh, to consider. These fish are uh, are carnivores, so they uh, like uh, meaty food. Um, they'll also uh, uh, eat some uh, replacements like pellets or mastic but their main diet is uh, is meaty food. They will also uh, look for crustaceans uh, all day long in your tank. So um, uh, it's, it's important to keep them in a tank that is not brand new, so it has to be settled in for a while. So there's a lot of uh, activity going on. There's crustaceans in there, uh, which they can uh, look for all day. Um, Mostly, uh, of some of the times when uh, I see one of the blue star leopard rats 
uh, swimming behind or close to this fish since what I told you before in a previous video is that this fish filters my sand so it's very active in uh, uh, um, filtering the sand and because of course in the sand bottom there's always crustaceans in there so sometimes you see one of the blue stars uh, next to it just waiting for it to uh, to gulp up some uh, crustaceans and then they'll uh, they'll try to catch it so the female was, uh, was right here you just saw it it's uh, in the middle of the of the screen now as you can see again it's a bit camera shy so it's uh, it's off again um, the uh, the female are, uh, are red uh, with a nice distinguished pattern distinct pattern on them um, and these fish actually change uh, change sex so uh, what happens is when there's a dominant uh, a female in the group it will turn into a male uh, and it will be so it will turn from uh, being red into being blue uh, and it also changed the, the, the pattern so their uh, their their evolving is quite spectacular. So when they're middle in the middle of the transition, they will have a very weird uh, pattern because it's changing from this type of red to the type of blue that the male is, which is quite odd to see. So when you're seeing one in transition, you will definitely notice that something is not right, and uh, it looks a bit a bit funny because the patterns are all messed up. So it is advised that if you are keeping uh, blue star leopard grass, that you're keeping them in, uh, in, in uh, uh, at the very least a pair. And what, sometimes the males are pretty aggressive towards the females. And then when you notice that, then it's advised to add another female or maybe even two to uh, uh, relieve some stress from the female fish because the males can be quite dominant and quite uh, aggressive towards the female. Now, not aggressive, but they're... Uh, uh, always chasing each other so here's the female it's uh, showing up really nicely now so well, unfortunately it's uh, quite hard to catch these uh, these fish f uh, in uh, in full sight so even if I try to zoom in they will definitely just swim away so I hope you can get a clear view of what the fish look like they're quite camera shy there's the male on top again. So that's the uh, the main info that I wanted to share with you. So to sum it up, um, you need a sand bottom uh, uh, to uh, to make sure that they have enough room for to sleep at night. Uh, they they need a tank that is settled in for quite a while so they can find crustaceans and they will uh, change color when they change uh, sex as well and when you see that the male is uh, very dominant towards the female then it's advised to uh, buy another female or maybe even two so these are the main traits that you should look out for when buying a blue star leopard rat. like I said I, uh, I enjoy this fish uh, a lot I, uh, I'm glad that I have it in my tank it's a very colorful fish, very active fish uh, albeit a little bit camera shy <laughs> and uh, well I can definitely uh, advise that you keep one if your tank is large enough or keep some if your tank is large enough they do need quite some swimming space and also of course room and enough food Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.